What's the word, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sites, and I'm back today. Look, man, y'all see this right here? Oh my god, this is a bang. So, look, y'all. All right, y'all see this animation going on on my screen, right? I'm about to show y'all how to execute this. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna just tell you right now, I don't know where to tell you to get a Glock from besides Sketch Fab and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try my best to run y'all through this. Me, I'm going to use my gun from Blender Kit. And yeah, so moving forward, man, as you in Blender, you're going to have a setup with a cube, a camera, a light. I just want you to press A and just delete all of that. You feel what I'm saying? I have my buttons here in the middle of my screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. You feel me? And so first of all, bro, you want to find you a Glock, man, right? You want to find you a Glock. I'm going to type in Glock and I'm just going to grab me this gun right here that I got. Uh, this thing is tough you feel me if you want you could do things like extend the clip then we make that thing look a little you know extended and then i'm gonna just scale this up because i know when i add my camera it's gonna be a hassle so i'm gonna just scale this up and now i'm gonna press three on my numpad i'm gonna press shift a and i'm gonna add a camera so now i'm gonna press zero on my numpad or if you don't have that you could just press this little button right here and now i'm going to uh position my camera to be in front of the nozzle of the gun so i'm gonna press g g and x i'm gonna move back g and z and now i have my camera in front of my gun so before i start doing anything um some of you guys y'all might not have this but if you do have this what you have to do is you just highlight it right uh, you press period on your numpad while you're hovering over your outliner and uh, you just click the click on this armature and you just turn it off so you don't see it so now you get to see like the full-blown object and you can uh, make this easier by coming here to the corner of your screen dragging out and let's just change this to wireframe mode and let's press uh, one on our numpad so before we do anything else let's uh mess with some settings here right so let's come over here and let's change this to cycles let's go to gpu um let's change this to 0 0.001 let's change your max samples to around 500 and the uh, render settings you want to 0 0.07 these are mine you don't have to do these 256 come down to motion blur enable that come to film enable transparency and so i've got a color management and this is why i said we're going to go over to blender 4.0 because we're going to be using agx but for now let's put it on standard and let's put it on a uh, very high contrast right and now uh, we should be good if we save this save this as shout out to max novak because uh if you see his asap rocky tutorial this is one of the parts but you know i just had to give y'all a more in-depth version because i feel like you just had to skim through it just, you know but yeah moving forward um we save this and all right so now that we have our gun our camera and cool looking scene let's add an hdri right let's go in here and i'm gonna search up a studio because i like studio lights me so we can come in there and kind of mess with these setups let's turn this down just a little bit because i don't want it i don't want it too cranked up i want to use my own lights to really sell this effect so let's start off by adding a light inside of the barrel right and this is where the bullet is going to be coming up so i'm going to come in here i'm going to like uh i'm going to go to edit mode and i'm going to like highlight two points on my bullet right so it'll be this one and let me come in here. It'll be this one and this one. I'm gonna shift S and I'm gonna do like cursor to select it. Go back in that view and I'm gonna add me a light, add me a point light. And as you can see, it's giving some light inside of the barrel. So I'm gonna move this up and I'm gonna change this to a color like orange. see that right and we could turn this down just a little bit because it's, it's it's very up uh, right and since this is like a transition i'm just going to start this at the first frame and i'm going to end this around like 50 or 60 frames now this is uh, yeah yeah so now i have my light in here let's just start animating this bullet bring the bullet up we have just the bullet so let's bring it up let's rotate it and if you don't like 
the orientation of this you can hit control z real quick let's right click it set origin and origin to geometry and then we can start rotating it and moving it how we want so i'm going to rotate this in the in the, in the y position then i'm going to hit i on my keyboard i'm going to hit location and for maybe like mm, six frames seven frames this will be going up mm, i'm gonna mm, let's say three frames let's hit g and let's hit z rotate it a little more to where it's facing the camera and me i feel like this bullet is a little too big but you know i don't want to miss any light so let's scale it down and, and now i can hit i and set the location so now you see it's coming up and then i come to like frame 20 i hit g and x and just have it come straight out all right so now with all of those keyframes highlighted just right click them and let's change the let's come back into our camera mode and we can see that the bullet passes through but we really want to follow this bullet so we're gonna have to make a lot of keyframes on this camera before we make any keyframes on that camera let's uh highlight that light let's grab this light and let's press i with our mouse hovering over the power and let's bring that keyframe back and about frame 13 let's just bring this down to zero let's press i now the light is off so now you have a light here telling us that the gun is firing we could change that keyframe down at zero to zero i'm sorry we could change the very first keyframe to one now and press i again now let's see what we got so now let's come back into our camera and let's see what we got going on here Let's move our camera up. Before let, before we do that, let's change the clip start to zero. And now let's hit G, Y. Let's hit G, X, and let's go into the barrel. And if you really get, if you want to see what you're doing, see if anything is clipping, you could come into your material mode. And yeah, as you see, we got things in here clipping. So we're going to change some of these settings. I got to change it to zero which is the clip star. And then we're gonna change this number on the end to a million. And now, you know, we can be inside of the object and stuff like that without a whole bunch of extra craziness going on. So if you wonder how I'm moving my camera so freely, I'm hitting shift and descent grave. I have a keyboard shortcut for shift and F so I can use W, A, S, and D to move my camera around. You can change that by going into edit and go into the preferences and uh, key map, type in walk or fly. And then you'll see it's called uh, view navigation, walk, fly. And then I have my keyboard shortcut to shift and F. So yeah, now I can do things like follow my camera. So I'm gonna start the cam I'm gonna start the, uh, the camera like in here on the first frame for sure. And then I'm gonna hit this right here. This is the auto key. And as I auto key, as I'm auto keying, every frame I'm gonna make new uh, keyframes to follow the bullet. And if I have to slow down the bullet, I will. So pay attention as I move my camera. You set new keys. So just to start your first set of keyframes, just come up to the item. And you press I on the location, maybe the, or the rotation, and then you start playing around with the camera. As you can see, the bullet is moving a little too fast, so you could just highlight this and take those keyframes and move them, move them back a little bit. I mean, move them forward a little bit. And now, if you want to like get some more swag with your camera bro you gotta mess with these keyframes so you gotta highlight these keyframes and now that i'm kind of done with the bullet animation i could come out of this view 
I could change this to like my dope sheet. Now you can come over here to the stopwatch, which is the timeline logo, change this to the graph editor and hit normalize. And now you, this is where you're able to smooth out your keyframes and kind of extend your animation. So me, I usually come over here, right? And these objects, right? Everything, it, you know, it's going to show up at one time, right? You have your camera actions, and this is what I'm going to be dealing with over here. So sometimes I might, you know, sometimes they overlap each other. So you can do things like, like turn things off. You can lock them, unlock them, all kind of stuff. So I'm going to start dealing with these. Just want to see what looks I can get out of this. I advise you to just watch closely. If you have to slow down the video, because I'm going to speed through some of this, but. You see, as I'm moving around with these keyframes, I'm like highlighting a few and I'm pressing G. As you see, I got to do more things up here. Like The bullet looks pretty good. And you can also rotate this camera as well. That's why I really didn't do much to the rotation of the camera. So let's go back to time. I mean, to the graph editor. Let's indicate where our rotations are. So our rotations are here. And if you want to see this in a clear, you know, in a more clear view, you can just come to the mesh mode. But yeah, as you can see, like I really, I'm not feeling this whole, uh, this little, this little slow movement I got going on here. So I might delete this keyframe and I'm going to bring this down more. And then like, once you get like a camera movement down, you could, with the camera still highlighted, you could change the focal length. So I want like an in to out. So I'm gonna zoom this in maybe like to 108 <laughs> millimeters. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit I at the first keyframe. And then around the last one, like when the good, around 18 or 20, when the bullets are actually outside of the weapon. I'm going to have this at like, yeah, 35. It's looking good. And I'm going to hit I again. And now we could play with some of the rotation. So as you can see, like the rotation really doesn't change besides at the, uh, X, the X and the Y. So the Y position that we have over here, I believe if we come here and we right click and we delete the single keyframes and nothing will happen. Yeah, nothing will happen. So that being said, now we can maybe have a keyframe at five and we could rotate it just a little bit, just to, just, just, just to give it some love. Let's, let's have it at 180 degrees at the first frame. Let's hit I and then let's come out to maybe when it's halfway through and let's bring it back to zero or maybe negative, negative 17. And now we could just move. Oh, now we could just move the camera. I mean, move the Y axis over a little bit and let's bring the top of the keyframe down. So by the time it gets to the gun, it's, you see the, you see the rotation. Feel me? Oh yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This is looking even better than my first version that I did, y'all. Come on, I'm giving y'all the subs. Nah. <laughs> And if you don't like that the pistol is still in the shot, you can do things like come to the last keyframe and a bullet, move it in the X position out of the camera some more. And also turn the camera in the Z position a little more to the right. Maybe even maybe even move your bullet out some more. So really this is like a slow-mo, you know, uh gunshot right here so before we even do anything else you see how we still have that anchor point over there first of all save it and then hit shift a and we're gonna add an image as a plane and that image is a plane that's gonna be one of these footage crate explosions you could go get you a footage crate explosion for free right now but you can't get one for free my fault for even lying to y'all like that but when you have <laughs> when, you, when you get it in the project you want to come to shader 
and it, uh, open up the admission tab, right? When you get here, you just want to take color from the actual image texture and drag it into the admission. And then since it's already at one, you know, you could just, you know, maybe, I mean, you can boost it if you want. Really, it's really up to you, but it's really now scaling it. Oh yeah, and disabling, clearing all keyframes too. Clear all the keyframes. So that means we could come back to the timeline real quick, my bad, and just turn off the auto key in for a second. And yeah, go back to the timeline, I guess, I don't know. And now let's bring this up. Let's bring this up so that we see it. Let's make sure it's not clipping. And let's scale it in the, in the Y. Let's just make sure it's not clipping through. So now, let's see where this is at now. First of all, we want this to start at, we're gonna change this offset just a little bit because I want this to be blown up. So I'm gonna offset this by like, like 10 frames. And then yeah, we can sell it the same time. And we can even expand it in the x-axis because you see how it's showing. So I'm sorry, in the y-axis, so expand it a little bit. And when lighting, I ain't gonna lie, I like to isolate things. So this is an extra step. If you want to, you can stay. But before we do that, these extra steps with the lighting and stuff, I'm going to tell you how to render this. Most of the time, my music videos are 24 FPS. So I'm going to render this as a PNG, bring down a compression, and I'm going to find a location, make a folder, call it done. And yeah, so I'm going to come down here, check all my settings, see what's here, see what's not. Samples, 256, 0 0.07. Yeah, so everything is ready. So what you got to do from here is Control F12. Once you press Control F12, you wait for this to render, and you can just bring this into After Effects. But I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. You can speed the video up, do what you please. But yeah, I'm in Blender 4.0, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some lights to view these things, right? So, see this? Let's just uh, let's just hit this. Hit A. Let's hit Shift S. Cursor to select it. And now let's add us. Now let's add a light. Let's add an area light and let's scale this light down to where it fits the weapon. So yeah, we got that. Let's duplicate that. We got two lights over here, right? And let's turn those down. Let's make those like 200 milliwatts is about good. And let's give it like a little orange hue because it is hot. It's, it's, it's a hot barrel. So let's give it a little orange look. Yeah. See that? Lighting up that bullet so Let's copy those settings over to this next light. And now you can change the color of the other light by just copying the hex code from the previous light. Select it. Next color. Paste it. So now we could take these two lights, right? And let's have both of them highlighted. Let's come to visibility. I'm sorry. Let's come to shading. And let's do light linking. And now I'm gonna take this bullet and I'm gonna highlight this light. I'm gonna drag this bullet into here. I'm gonna do the same for this one. Light linking, I'm gonna drag the bullet in here. Now I'm gonna highlight both of the lights and the bullet itself. Hit Control P. And I'm gonna parent, keep transform. So now when the bullet moves, the light moves as well. I'm gonna add an area light to the front of the weapon. G R Y. And we're gonna move it over to the right side of it. Rotate it in the Z position and scale it down. And then maybe we could take one more light. Let's just copy and paste it before we do any settings. And now let's just, uh, let's play with these. Let's just get something that we like. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's play around with this. Let's, 
add light link into this light and let's just collect this. Let's collect everything that we can actually see. So really just the frame, the trigger, and then let's highlight the light and let's just drag those objects in here. Let's um, highlight this holding shift and let's click the other light and let's add light link in here and let's just drag the mag. No, let's just drag the barrel. Yeah, let's drag the, yeah, let's drag the barrel. The front of the gun, the top of the gun, the bottom of the gun, and the trigger. Now let's highlight this light. And let's just drag these in there. You know what I mean? And now, you got, you got some love going on here. This really looks lovely. Just with this. Everything is emitted correctly. And with one thing, if you really want to add some swag to this, let's just let's go to edit mode and let's press A, Shift S. I'm sorry, cursor to select it. Come out of edit mode and hit Shift A. And let's add a cube. This cube is going to be a volume. So let's make it fit the gun, the camera. Let's watch the animation and let's see where the camera goes. So yeah, seven. I mean, hit seven on the numpad on the edit mode, G, S, and the X, and the Y, and it should be good like that. Yeah, we good like that. So now in shading, let's add a new texture. Let's name this volume, and let's delete the principal DSDF, shift A, add a principal volume, now let's drag this volume to volume come to the camera mode and now we could really like control how dark this is you feel me we could bring this down to 0.2 right and as you can see we still can see the uh this in front so let's let's make this smaller go it should be definitely good now so yeah now we got it's cool stuff going on. We got this texture, and if we put this in AGX, because we're now in a newer blender, standard, let's put this in AGX. Oh my god. Yeah, fail maze. We can even bring up the area lights that we recently just added. If we feel like these lights are too low, remember how I told us to bring up to boost those? But I told us to light link those because we might want to add some love to this. You feel what I'm saying? So we can even change the colors here. Give us, let's get a vibe that's probably matching our music video or something. You feel what I'm saying? Like a little red vibe. We can do things like add a camera shaker, add camera shaker file, which is a third party plugin that you could get from the Blender market. And you just bring down the scale. Oh yeah, now let's add a little bit of depth of field. You want you could do things like highlight the camera and let's click that the field and then let's just put it on the bullet. So let's focus on the bullet and we can change our uh, our settings while inside of the bullet inside of the barrel. We can have it to where the gun the, the bullet is completely visible, right? So if we come into the render mode, you'll see if we move it up. I had a number and then we could see it. So let's probably have that at like 3.1, press I, and then maybe when this like coming out of the, out of the gun, let's, oh, hold on. We can bring this down to like 1.8, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, that's really it for this tutorial, man. Like, hopefully this is helpful. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully it came out how y'all wanted to come out. You know what I'm saying? If it did it, you can ask me that. Ask me some questions. Also, if you're really looking for some presets and some 3D overlays, bro, I got a full website with a whole bunch of stuff there for y'all to cop. You feel me? If you made it this far, I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm going to holla at y'all niggas. Peace.